Hello and welcome to the 84th tutorial in the Cocos 2DJS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at removing a child. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. So far we have used several elements and nodes and added them to our scene, but what if we want to remove them? Fortunately for us, Cocos 2DJS provides us with an easy way of removing nodes. So let's go ahead and open up our project. So source app.js and what we're going to do is schedule a method this dot schedule we've called scheduling a method early in this series and this will just simply well remove our sprite. Then I'm going to do comma two, I'm going to put schedule once that's all it needs to be done is scheduled once. Now I'm going to say play colon function. I'll just call it play, you can call it whatever you want. Actually, no, I'm going to re rename it a little bit, so remove. Remove. And in here, what we're going to do is this dot remove all children. And then you specify a Boolean parameter. And true means that it cleans up the node, aka like any action, it cleans that up, stops them, and if it's false, then it only lets them run. So, what we're going to do is just save that. Let's open up our web browser. Open up terminal. CD to our project directory. Run the cocos command. Yeah, let's just open the console just in case there's some sort of error that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be. Okay, let's just refresh that. It did disappear by just closing the console window. As you see, it's just disappeared after two seconds. But let me just show you something. If I were to duplicate this right here, and let's change this to Sprite 2, Sprite 2, Sprite 2, Sprite 2, but I'm going to position it. At a quarter of the screen in the x-axis, go back to our web browser, refresh. Both sprites disappear. And obviously the reason both sprites disappear is because we've put this dot remove all children. So it's going to remove every single child. A lot of the time you won't want to do that. You just want to remove individual children. And one of the ways we can do that is by removing it uh, relative to the child's tag. So what we're going to do is sprite dot set tag dot dash dot set tag and for this we're just going to put one and we'll do the same for sprite two as well we'll put this at 67 again it doesn't really matter what you put it as as long as you know and at the top here we're going to no, actually, no we don't need to do that so if we go down here we'll just comment this out with this dot remove child by tag and in here I'm going to specify what tag I want to remove or what child we will certain tag and put one then I'm going to put true because I want it to clean up most of the time you will want it to clean up if you don't specify any parameter for cleaning up it cleans it up automatically just a little FYI let's refresh our pre page now you can see this sprite has disappeared and the reason that one disappeared because that tag was set to 1 this was set to 67 and it's still there and it's not going to disappear because we just removed the child with the tag 1 as an extra task look at the Cocos 2D JS API guide to find out the other remove methods offered because there are others and they are very powerful so just have a look at them this is the last tutorial, but feel free to contact us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. Even though I've said this is the last video, we're obviously going to be doing other vid other tutorials on our channel. And though this may be the last video in this series, if we find a few topics uh, that we f uh, think we haven't covered and that are relevant to this series, we will add them. But generally, take this as the last video. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. And a little sneak peek for the next series, we're gonna be covering the Cocos Code IDE to help your coding experience a lot better with JavaScript. So, bye.